I mean, um, it's a complicated story. So we grew up without a dad and that was just normal for us. There was the occasional thought of where he was, if he was alive or not, because we had no contact at all. So what our mum had told us was that our dad was gay, that he left when I was four years old, which I remember. She told me that my dad um, was really broke and was living in a tent. My mum turned bitter and pretty much cut my dad off completely and moved away to small country towns so my dad couldn't find us really which is a pretty shit thing to do but I can understand why my mum did that because she was dealing with a lot of stuff I, I imagine she was heartbroken after she found out my dad was gay yeah there was the occasional I wonder where my dad is and I would always joke about to my friends maybe one day I'll find my dad I just really thought that I would never know him and that was really okay because uh, being without a dad was so normal to us. Yeah, 2012 came along and I was sitting down with Megan and we decided to watch X Factor. It got to the commercials of the X Factor like coming up next and it showed like uh, this cowboy, this like 40 something year old cowboy and the voiceover is like, what is this cowboy's dark secret? I mean, it got to the interviews and this cowboy was telling a story and I was like, oh, I just want to find out, like, he's gonna be a girl, I bet you, I bet you he's gonna be a fucking girl. So he started telling a story. I didn't catch the name, so I was just listening to the interview. But he was just talking about how he's been through a lot of struggles and really he joined the X Factor to find his three children. I was like, oh my god, Megan, he's, he's trying to find his three children, <laughs> what? Oh, it's probably my dad. <laughs> so he went on to say that it had been 12 years since he last saw us and that um, the reason why things went bad with the marriage, or, um, with the relationship was because my dad was gay and I was like, holy fucking shit, this is sounding really familiar. <laughs> it was 12 years since I'd seen my dad and, and my dad left behind three children. So I was like, oh my god, this, this is like pretty scary. I mean, it's probably not my dad, but I have, I just had this really weird feeling and I mean, it, I didn't think that he looked like me or anything. I just... I just had this really weird feeling that this was, like, this was him. This was finally going to be the end of all the looking and the wondering where he was. Anyway, so this cowboy um starts singing and as he sings on the stage, the name came up, Justin Stanley. I just burst into tears because I knew that that was my dad and it was the most unbelievable thing to have this person that you haven't seen in so long and there he is on TV looking for you. It's, uh, it was an overwhelming feeling of happiness and fear and all of this because, I don't know, um, I just started crying. I, I missed the entire performance, which is pretty shitty of me. But yeah, I mean, I, I, was, in, I was in shock. Like, uh, I was like, Megan, what the hell do I do now? This is my dad, like, how do I contact him? And um, Megan was just like, uh, I don't know, maybe we can uh, like look for him on Facebook or something. I think it was maybe the first or within the first five Justin Stanleys that I looked for. Uh, clicked on it, looked at his um, biography or the about and it said that he was looking for his three children. He called us all by our full names and that, that was my dad. So Megan messaged uh, him and he my uh, I can't even speak. It was just it was amazing. It was an amazing moment. It's uh, it's still so hard to wrap my head around but um, yeah, so Megan messaged him and she was like, I think that my best friend is your daughter. <laughs> and he gave us a phone number, I think at that point. Uh, we called him up and I mean, I was crying like hell. I was, I was scared, I was overwhelmed, I was sad, I, I was happy. Um, I don't know, yeah, um, a lot of different emotions were flowing through me at that point. Uh, he answered the phone, he said hello, he sounded pretty tired and I was, I was just crying. I was like, I think I'm your daughter. <laughs> I can't really remember much of what he said, but I do remember specifically that he said these exact words. He said, I know in my heart that it is you. Next day he called me and it was really awkward. It was like talking to a stranger because he really was a stranger. Um, so yeah, uh, um, after the X Factor went live, I was talking to him within an hour after the show and within about seven days or something, that very weekend I met him because I think it was Seven News uh, paid for the flights for my dad to come over to Western Australia and meet his children, meet me and my sister. Anyway, yeah, my dad Floyva um, met Ophelia first. They had a reunion on TV. They met first 
and uh, then my dad drove all the way to the tiny town that I was living in and he got there really late so it was like maybe nine or eight it was really dark and he told me to meet me at the oval which was really weird uh, so yeah we pretty much met at the oval in this small country town at night and it was really fucking weird I, I like to call myself a prankster or a joker so um, I'd gotten him a card um, just to say hello or whatevs um, but on the card it said happy birthday six year old and I was like hey, hey, it would be so funny so I passed it to him and he was like oh I've actually got one for you too and he passed me a card and it said happy birthday granddad and like it was so amazing that we both had this sense of humour so we got along instantly I'm, I'm so so close to my dad I would say more than my mum actually which is weird um, it's really interesting how after all this time of being with my mum that I have more in common with my dad. So yeah, I have the best relationship with my dad now. We're so close. Um, he helped me move into this place actually with his partner, Peter. Uh, so another thing, I've got a mum and I've got two dads and that's amazing, I love that. Him and his partner, Peter, have done so much for me that I would never be able to repay them enough, honestly. Um, yeah, so my dad is a country music artist. Uh, I didn't mention this part, but he, he's done, he does a lot of tours. He works really hard. He's a great person. He is the kindest person you will ever meet. He's so genuine, he's so nice, and so giving and loving and everything. Actually, um, I sing on one, of his, um, on one of his CDs. My dad's on iTunes, guys. Go check him out. That's my dad. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> this video was pretty long, but probably cut it down a bit. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment, because I love comments. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every now and then. Okay, bye.